Uh, welcome to the BCI farm. This is our second season. Uh, it's a school-grown partnership with the TSB School Board and Burnham Thorpe Collegiate Institute. So we work with the high school students to uh, manage our uh, two and a half, three acre urban farm. Echo and my, and my coworker Lou, uh, we were working on a lot of workshops in the school with science classes. There is a green industries class. So uh, earlier I was harvesting some wildflower seeds. They, that class designed that area, picked the plants and, and planted it. Um, a lot of the trees that are growing around the property were planted also by those classes. Um, so it's a pretty skills-based thing. The school also has a horticultural technician program. So students can uh, do a certain amount of classes that involve co-op, uh, they involve uh, green industries, they involve science classes. And if they take that, that uh, set of classes, they graduate with a horticulture diploma. this summer was we have a little CSA for the daycare staff that were working in the school. Uh, normally we would give them we would give them like an order form and then they will list it out and then on the day that we do our harvest we would uh, get everything packed up, uh, put them in plastic bags and then I would normally put uh, wheelbarrows and carry them over to the, the daycare. So we plant uh, garlic in the fall um, and then we put the hay over it in order to kind of insulate it because you don't want um, it for it to freeze too uh, kind of severely or it might actually kill the plant. Um, and so it's just that having all that hay there insulates it, keeps it warm. It's like a nice duvet or blanket over the garlic before it um, germinates in the spring. And then we harvest in August. Yeah. I think urban agriculture is like one of many pieces in creating like a more resilient food system. We saw with the pandemic how much of like the food supply was impacted because so much of our food system is globalized. So we're getting the apples from Chile and like ginger from Peru and like stuff from New Zealand and it just comes from all around the world. And urban agriculture is a great way to um, integrate the food supply and the food system in a more local context and a more, uh, and it also like, brings people closer to their food and you know instead of just going to a grocery store um, if they can co come to a farmer's market in which right behind them is the actual site where it's growing it just pe brings people closer to the food that they're eating and um, I don't know helps facilitate like connection and integration with the food system so yeah I think it's important.